school thing in Gamora's room. It does this. <sighs> Continue. Oh, thanks, Ted. Just look at my feet, huh? Do do Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, dun, dun. Oh, see if I can... it ain't just the junkyard. The All right, owns the let's pile try of this again. Let's just go room. handle just this right it. now. Uh, there you there are. he is. Well, tell Groot to stop worrying about getting arrested. We're gonna reassure Groot. I'm not overconfident. I'm just the right level of confident. <laughs> arrested for what? All right, comic books. Our ship just. Accidentally slipped into the quarantine zone. Oops, our navigation malfunctioned. Oops. How would we accidentally cross into So the Guardians of the Galaxy uh, first appeared in Marvel Superheroes number 18, January 1969. The initial roster consisted of Vance Astro, Martinex Tanaga, Captain Charlie 27, and Yondu okay. Udanta. Later members included Stakar Ogord, Alita Ogord, and Nikki. Not like I'd make any money. Things are so cheap. We'll do some publication history here in a second. All right. Um. What's this? What can I do with this? Oh yeah. Oh, I have it on streaming mode because of licensed music, so that's not really going to make a difference. Up here, Peter. Let's go talk to Gamora. Hey, that's my chair. Oh, then why aren't you in it? I was, oh. uh, strategizing. It's one thing to get into the zone, but we still got to catch that monster. Right. So did I miss anything? Other than a ton of suspicious glares from Drax, not really. Now, if you're done strategizing, feel free to grab your seat. We're almost ready to go. All right. Ah, real quick. Um, bum, bum. Publication history. Roy Thomas recounted Guardians of the Galaxy started out as an idea of mine about super gorillas fighting against Russian and Red Chinese who had taken over and divided the USA. I got a sort of general approval out of editor-in-chief Stanley, I think, and gave the idea to Arnold Drake. Since I had not time to write it and research it, Arnold went in for a conference, conference with Stan, and Stan, maybe Arnold too, decided to change it to an interplanetary situation. All the characters and situations in Guardians were created mm. by Arnold and or Stan. Reminds me of the legendary siege of All right, here we go. Uh, okay, here we go. Rocket, Groot, Drax, get in here. We're going in. We still have a few ticks before the next time window, actually. The next one? Nova Corps security guard resets every rotation. We want to be in and out before our code expires, or we'll get stranded. We wait for the next reset. We'll get a full rotation to do this. Nice. <laughs> oh, why is the Novanet still up? Thought we were going in. Well, it appears the assassin's contacts are as untrustworthy as the betrayer herself. Oh, please don't tell me Gamora's backdoor codes are bust. We nearly went broke getting them. Relax, Rocket. We still got a few ticks before the next time window. What are you doing, The network Teddy? just reset. You can enter the sequence, Peter. Zero four five one. Zero four, four five one. Suspicious. Here we go. The security measures are too simplistic for Novacore. It's Zero not that simple. The code only works on four, this day for this ship. Five, oh, I get it. Gamora's one. codes are more like an encryption key is some stick. Wait, if that if that code is for that ship, 
Novacor would notice them like almost immediately in the quarantine so zone. Stuff left after the war. Restraint wasn't very popular in the Shatari army, especially with Thanos in charge. Yeah, it's probably all harmless now. I mean, Novacor had 12 years to get rid of the heavy duty explosives, <laughs> right? <laughs> That's why I like you, Quill. You're so pure. Oh, the wonderful and terrible things I could do with all this tech. Stay focused, Rodent. We do not come here to scavenge. Why not? The Milano's weapon systems could use an overall. Plus, Some Novacor guy it. rotating. Far more valuable to the monster queen of Seknoff Nile than any elite. Salvage. Whoa! Oh, place is really shifty. I'm not seeing a monster, but that big cylinder up ahead looks like mining ship Peter's friend said to look for. <coughs> friend. For a night? And you'll see the monster as soon as we place Rocket's monster summoning thingies. Flark, yeah. Group Quell Soda. Team Rocket's up first. I still do not understand why I must remain on board with the assassin. Uh, because you're part of Green Team. You assigned me to the team before you named it. My skin is not green. It's teal. Teal? What? Listen, if we want to trick the monster into going teal. inside that mining rig, we need to place thumpers on both sides. Two sides, two teams. And two clicks to the drop site. Ground's too unstable to land the ship, so you'll need to jump. That's our cue. Let's go, Groot. Hit. Don't worry. Once the thumpers are placed, we'll meet in the middle and we'll capture the monster together. Very well. Thumper one, done. Take care of my baby. It's a ship, Peter, not a child. Oh, oh. can you imagine? <laughs> he is not a better shot than me. Show off. Just making sure my guns work. Say pew pew. What? Hey, starboard! Wrong way! You guys sure you don't need help? I am. Yep, very sure. Focus on your own task. Yep. Being here definitely feels a little weird. Whoa. Heads up, fool! Dangerous and unstable. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Oops. That's <laughs> nah, totally safe. Now, can we please focus less on the toxic goo and more on all this cool war junk it's holding together? Uh, oh! oh. <sighs> you okay, Quill? Yeah, I think so. This, uh, big resin stuff's definitely strong enough to hold this place together. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, probably strong enough. <laughs> so funny. It's like so fun to shoot. It is strange. I have not encountered any corpses in the wreckage. Hmm. Probably got disintegrated when the ships went kaboom. Or the nano resin absorbed them. Could explain its propagation. <gasps> or the closed atmosphere accelerates decomp, and any body is just dust by now. I will require a vigorous scrubbing when this mission is complete. I'm thinking that big cylinder thing is our rendezvous? Yeah, that's the mining rig. So weird seeing it all clustered together like this. Bits and pieces of a war that spanned the entire galaxy held together by... pink goo. Ebrium-based nano-resin. Whatever. I'm just saying, it's a lot to take in. Okay. What a freaking crybaby. Am I right? Uh, am I right? I Dear am Quill, right. The insubordination of the assassin has become insufferable. You know, I think I do sort of get it. Oh, look! 
Yellow and blue. Looks like an old Nova Corporate. Nice! Come on, dude. People probably died on that ship. Killjoy, why do you even bring us here if the place is so sacred? I can name at least a dozen planets with monsters on them, so... Don't know if you noticed, Rocket, but people aren't exactly falling over themselves to hire us. Oh, I have noticed. If this job pans out, sure we'll get money, but also a rich new client. We need to impress Lady Hellbender with a monster she's interested in, not just any old critter. Which is why we should have gone after Fin Fang Foom. We won't impress no one if we're dead. I mean, it's a good point. I am Groot. I told you, we ain't gonna get caught. There's only like three ships left in the entire Nova Corps. Nova Corps has more than three ships. Sure, but you know, they ain't half the space cops they once were. Whoa! Holy crap, I almost didn't kill. <laughs> almost made yourself a very late war casualty. Not funny. It kind of is, though. You know, I like this. This is fun. The three what are you of us doing, hanging out, just like when we started this gig, before you know who joined us. I do not hate everybody. Come on, Rocket. Drax and Gamora are valued additions to the team. You're only saying that because she's listening. Is that why your plan has Drax and I taking the ship? Maybe. Hey, can't a guy want to spend some quality time with his friends? Careful on that thing, Quill. You spot something out there? Everybody keep an eye out for any good scrap or components. Woo! Pretty sure that weighs a dead end. Uh, you sure? Ah. Whoa! Sorry about that, y'all. Uh, no. You... Alright, you want the ball? You can have the ball. You can't have the ball anymore, Teddy. There we go. Pass this way. Come on. I try you need the ball. Tell? Just trust me, alright? Hey, group. You think we could find pieces of the Tryon shard in here? You never heard of the Tryon shard? Pyramid of pure evil. Alright, here we go. Comes in contact. <laughs> Making things up. Name one time I ever made something. I write this report so that the efforts and the courage of my people may echo throughout time. We finally we had finally accomplished the unthinkable after generations of war. We put aside our differences and united to achieve our dreams. I am dictating this message from the first interstellar Bildarian Bildarian vessel, our pride, the Starborus. Everything we suspected was true. There are people out here, countless other worlds, some of them far more advanced and some of them struggling as we did. We were welcomed with open arms by a group calling themselves the Nova Corps. To our horror, we learned the galaxy itself is currently at war. Bida Bildar is right in the path of the aggressors, a violent race called the Shatari. We requested aid from our new allies, but their rescue will be soon intercepted by a much larger Shatari fleet. We have decided to rapidly burn our fuel reserves to reach the Shatari first. In our naivety, we do not have weapons on the Starburus, but she is fast and she is built strong. We will ram their capital ship. Perhaps we can save our new friends. Know this, for a brief incredible moment, Bildar found peace. We accomplished everything we set out to do. I pray our sacrifice will make a difference in our final hour. That's sad. Yeah, That's shut up. Crazy. Ask Gamora. Whoa. How do you even know the other way was a dead end? Because, unlike you, I have a very keen sense of direction. I heard that. Where 
fine. <laughs> All good, no worries. But watch your step, guys. This junk isn't as stable as you think. Take that brittle stuff. All right, here we go. Up. Oh. <laughs> nice splatter. Hey, 50 units says I can clear more of these suckers than you. As if. Whoa, what the? Rocket, did you do that? The scoreboard? You like it? Hacked it into your visor cover last time you took a snooze. You hacked into my stuff? Considering how many times I fixed the flarkin thing, it might as well be my stuff. Optimal thumb for placing distance should be just up ahead. I'm thinking right in front, through the giant hole where this ship's cockpit used to be. Well, that's grim. Uh, yeah, try not to think about it. It's better not to wonder what happened to anyone working on this. Ah! Amazing! I should have been recording. Bridge over, Bruce. I want to see if he's alive. I don't know, but he's working. <sighs> Scott Stain, Quill. You okay down there? Yep. Yeah, just, uh, thought I saw a shortcut. shortcut. Right. Go ahead without me. I'll catch up. Okay. There's a craft out Novacore missile bay just on the other side. We'll meet you there. Yellow and blue missile bay. Got it. Where am I going? Oh, not this way. Ah, this way. Okay. It's been a while well, since I played this game. Old ship. No big deal. Easy there, Quill. Pretty sure nothing's gonna jump out at you. Except maybe me and Groot. I shot a thing. I get it. First tool in the old toolbox. All right, here we go. We. All right, I'm gonna pause right there. I have to go run to the gas station. I'll be back.